All right, when you want to set up your navigation in Kajabi, you have no limit on what you can do for your menu bars. So you can have menu bars for your site pages, menu bars for your products, menu bars for your standalone pages. When you want to create one, you need to be on your website portion of your dashboard. When you're there, right underneath, you'll see where it says navigation. So you want to click on navigation and what that will open up is either you're going to activate the new design which I have done or you're going to deactivate it so when you log in yours will likely if you haven't activated will look like this all that it's doing is putting two menus the default main menu and the default footer separate from any custom menus you create. So it's just a little bit additional layer of organization. So if you click activate, that's all that's gonna happen. Now you will see that there are default menus and there are custom menus. So on the default menu, you will have main menu, unless you have renamed it, and you will have the footer, which will say standard default behind it. So those two navigation menus are under default and then custom menus are any that you create. So if you create a menu for the links when people are inside a specific product, that would be under custom menus. If you create a menu for the experience that your members have, where you wanna navigate them to specific areas, that would be in custom menus. You can see I have one here that is the footer for offer checkout pages because you wanna make sure you have your privacy policy and your purchase terms. So I have a separate footer for that. So when you're in your menu bars, you can obviously edit these. It's straightforward, it's the way that Kajabi is set up throughout. I can click edit right here and you'll see it says, is it a landing page or is it a static page? Now, you might be like, where, where are my static pages? So let me show you where your static pages exist. So we're gonna click out of this and I don't recommend using them for anything, but here is where they are. Underneath your settings, so if you click in your lower left hand toolbar, go underneath settings, and then you'll see here there's a choice that says static pages. So here you can click and these are your static pages. Now, people say, why don't you use these, Tamson? Well, they're pretty boring, they're pretty basic. And even on the legal pages, so I am an attorney for those of you that might not know that, I use standalone pages because you can make those pages work for you. So not to mention that they typically hide on you and you can't find them, which makes it tricky, but they don't have any of the functionality that a standalone page has is why I personally don't use any of these pages. So here, if I go back to website and we go back to navigation right here, we're gonna go back into that main menu bar right here. So here I can click, we'll ch choose a different one. I can click on the YouTube and podcast. So right here, you'll see that this is going straight to a URL. Now, this is the Kajabi link. So the slash and then the blog reads as whatever that Kajabi site is and where you're linking it to. So you can save it, you can delete it, you can obviously cancel it, but you can add anything that you want. Okay, there we go. Um, I can add here if I wanna add a product, a page, or a link. So what I always recommend when you're working with your nav menus, draw it out on a sheet of paper, what is the experience that the person viewing that page or that product needs to have that easy fingertip access to. That's how you decide what goes in the nav bar. And then write it out. This goes here, this goes there. And then when you come in to build, it's very, very easy to then build whatever you need to build. You can also reorder things. So I can just drag, just like I would drag anywhere else in Kajabi, I can completely move anything around. 
if I want to make a new menu, and if I make a new menu, it's going to show up under custom menus if you've activated that. So new menu, and I could say membership product, okay? So now that new one is created, you're going to scroll down until you find it right here, membership, we're going to click add. So now what is it that I need as part of my membership product. That is where you can come in and you can click to add your pages. You can say, uh, we'll choose, oh, let's see, right there, work with me. Now, this is also laying the foundation for pages that can only be accessed to people that are logged in, okay? Kajabi is rolling out password protected standalone pages and standalone pages are the same as landing pages. They mean one and the same thing. So you will see them referenced as pages, you'll see them referenced as standalone pages, and you'll see them referenced as landing pages. They are the exact same page. So I could click that it's visible only to people that are logged in or not, but again, Know why you're creating the nav menu, where is it going to show up, what is the experience that the person looking right at that page or product needs fingertip access to so that you create the best customer experience or user experience for your person. But that is how you create your menus. And then when you are inside a product, when you are inside a page, you can select any of the nav menus that you have created. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to answer them anytime. Bye.